Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes from Parliament Investigation UK. Today's date is the 30th of March 2022 and we're doing one out of three um, sets of EVPs it's sent in from Penny Wallace. This is um, well, classes EVP1. Uh, let's have a quick listen. On the ruins on the wall. Okay, um, Penny has questioned if there's anything actually in these. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start up Mitchcraft and uh, bring the file into there. Now I'm using amplified um, headphones. I use um, a Rode microphone to do these uh, reviews. And then that itself has a, um, an output for a set of headphones and them are amplified so if you're using laptop speakers mobile phones that type of thing to listen you may not hear uh, what I'm hearing uh, I'm going to be turning it up quite loud anyway so just to see if there's anything in there um, okay uh, It's certainly a stereo audio, this, left and right, um, separated. You can actually see differences between the two uh, streams. The right hand side's got some audio there, where the left has only got one. You can see them little blips of signal. Uh, and they do look different, so I know that's a stereo track, which is good. Um, interesting if the EVP is in this section here, because that's suggesting that um, the voice has got into one side of the audio, right hand side, where the microphones normally, unless it's got two microphones installed, such as the Tascam. Um, in fact, I'll show you what I mean. Um, can I manage this up? If you use this type of recorder, um, it's not very clear is it you've got two microphones there as you can see left and right is marked up left and right each microphone performing differently um, I need to ask Penny what um, because she's using if you're using a, a single microphone type such as the Olympus Such as that, that'll just have one micro. That'll just have one microphone. That type of recorder. So the signal itself is processed as a stereo signal, um, and the reason why. Um, let's get rid of that a second. Why then two tracks differ? Unless it's one um, fitted like similar to the task on the other zoom do one roll and do one where you have multiple different microphones it'll separate them tracks out but looking at the track that Penny sent me here we go into the property box just right click on there uh, go into the details it will begin to tell you uh, the type of sound so it's um, the bit rate one four one two kbs it's wave sound as well, excellent. Um, I think this is an adjustment that Penny's made recently because some of the audio I looked at wasn't. It was pretty 192, GBPS, MP3, that type. Um, so the quality is very, very high. Yeah, okay. So at least you're dealing with a WAV file now. 
well done Penny on that one right let's see what we can find out I'm just going to loop it just play it back on the ruins on the wall on the ruins on the wall on the ruins on the wall Um on the ruins on the wall you can't actually hear anything there um quick look at the email what she says on this one um this one. Sony Ricardo, so it is a single microphone. The same session you said, useful. Yeah, website. Well, well done, Penny, on that one. Um, so it's right at the beginning. There isn't really enough. On the ruins, on the wall. I just haven't got enough. I think she's saying it's right at the beginning of the recording, so she's she's almost certainly, oh, I presume that she's been able to send me any. I, I like about 20 seconds of audio, if possible, with the suspected capture, say, in the middle of it, at 10 seconds. So I've got 10 seconds before, 10 seconds after. Around that, I can do, you know, I can cope with a little bit, a bit less that. Um, but she's only just switched some, the. the uh, Ricardo on, got it straight away, and obviously she can't send, um, give me any more. Um, there are ways and means around that problem. There's quite a bit of noise there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this into Soundpad, um, Wavepad I should say. What I'm going to do is you could attempt to try and reduce the the sound out of it. Um, it'll be done as a separate file. I, I won't uh, do anything with the um, the original one. So I'll just grab that section. Um, and just do the subtraction. That should get a little bit better. On the ruins, on the wall. Okay. You've always got to be careful with uh, any form of um, noise reduction because sometimes you can, t you can take out what you don't want. I use about 50%. Um, generally, voices, it doesn't really touch it. It does well to get rid of that background feedback is what tends to happen with... Um, the audio I don't think the pen is amplified it so let's call it cleaned up 
EVP one, so I don't know which one it is. So what I can do now bring a new track in. Put that at the beginning. Well, it's just, it's just cleaned it up a bit. It's always going to affect the rest of the track, but not to a too great extent. Um, just got that lot, that feathering, that noise has disappeared. Because you, when you see that type of signal, sometimes you can think that it is a voice, uh, but it's in fact not. I'm just going to solo that. Um. Okay, I switch back over. Uh, you you look a lot cleaner. Okay, so we go back to the beginning, which is where Penny's saying it. Uh, she could hear something. Let's have a listen our way through. I'm happy with that, so I'm actually going to get rid of that one and just stay with the cleaned up version. On the ruins, on the wall. On the wall, on the wall. That's a different voice there. Now that he, he, that's a male voice. Sounds male as well. Um, let's go back to what she said before. It was silent. Right, okay. Really important when you, as Penny's done it, low, it doesn't seem like much information, but she's told me everything I need to know. Um, maybe something interrupting under my voice. She's right with that. I thought when she said it's, it's at the beginning, it's out of recording, uh, I just misinterpreted that. It's actually while she's talking, when she's setting up. Partner was silent. She's obviously attempted to debunk and rule that out. Uh, it's only recording, same settings as you said, using WAP, bang on. Right, everything I need to know. Save me a lot of time because I don't have to refer back to um, to Penny over that one. It's always an issue when you've got an EVP right on top of um, a known human voice. Um, What I can do is um, I can time stretch it. Um, I'll take that to 200. That stretches the track. So this is going to go twice as long. You'll hear it now. Penny will sound like, um, like she's <coughs> Penny's going to sound like she's been out on the town with the girls. On the ruins, on the wall. Right, I'm going to go further. Because what I need to do is attempt to try and grab that audio. Um, if it's that, that's interesting because there's considerable feathering. I'll explain to that in a minute. Let me just make sure that that, that is the area. Right, it is. Now that's quite interesting. This is where the potential of the EVP is. Now if you look at, at this first section of Penny talking, I'll just... So that's, that's Penny definitely talking. Very steady. Now look at the second bit. 
almost acts like a comb, multiple strikes of audio. Obviously, it's just tailing off there. You can just see the tail. It's, it's penny spoken, the and the the sound will begin to dissipate, and then this other sound breaks in. <laughs> So what we've got there, we can hear it. Penny's ruled out anyone else involved. That's not a female voice. It sounds male. Uh, the actual... This is where the sight comes into play. That is an unusual striking of audio. Because if, if we accept the concept of, of an electronic voice phenomenon, something, call it a spirit, ghost, whatever is able to pass sound from one side to the other. And what I find even more startling with this one, yeah, um, if you look at the left, this you've got to separate this, this is left, this is right side because it's a stereo track, even though using a single um, recorder, it's going to process both of them slightly differently. However, if you look at what Penny's saying, they're very similar. Likewise, at the end bit, I think she's talking again there. Very, very similar. Very, very similar. But if you look at the potential of the EVP, because there's a male voice in there, they differ. Left-hand side is greater than right-hand side by a pretty strong 50%, I would say, on volume. Now, that's difficult to account for when it is that you're trying to analyse audio. The, 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 it's almost practically identical. Um... In fact, what I will do, because um, I know Penny will will, will debate this with a, a group, I'll take a quick screenshot of that so Penny can see this for herself, uh, how it differs. Yeah, I'll save that one. Um... So the right-hand side is performing different to the left-hand side, which is a practical impossibility when it is you're dealing with a single microphone. Because you look at the others where Penny's, Penny's talking, the they are, they're identical. They're exactly the same, or 99% there. So why is right-hand side 50% less than the left-hand side? And it's this feathering basis. Is it using the microphone at all to implant the, the EVP onto the recorder? We do. We simply don't know what methodology it uses. This is what EVP I find so intriguing because the clues jump out at you. So what I'm going to do now, we can actually get rid of that section. We don't need that. Um, and I'm actually going to attempt to try and stretch it even further because what I'm trying to do is get a situation where I've eliminated Penny's voice out of it completely and that can be quite difficult yeah maximum I can go to I think it's 500 I think on there F 400 so can't yeah it's only going to go to 400 so it's a problem because it's talking just as Penny's talking. Um, what we can do, um, I'm going to attempt to get rid of the volume out of it. I'll use a separate volume control.
Um, Yeah, okay. That is quite... A, I can probably take it a little bit further, actually. Because it's not what's going on before. We don't really need it there. At least sufficient so we can hear it. Let's just play that back a few times. Um, okay, it's certainly loud enough for an analyzer, isn't it? That's for certain. Right, okay. Um I'm just gonna pause the this for a second. Um I've recently done a, an update on this software. So and I've lost the main analyzer that I tend to use, the analog one. So I need to reinstall that. So I'm just gonna pause the, the video for five, ten minutes, give me a like, chance to to do that because I need to know what frequency it is. So right, okay, so I'll see you in a few moments, although you won't actually be present when uh I'm doing that. Right, that didn't take too long. Back now with me, uh, favorite analyzer. Um, right. Um, what's happened here? Okay, just had to pause with a few seconds. I had a trouble with that um, with the audio file. Um, right. Let's just loop that. You can actually see on the track itself our left and right performing differently. Strange frequencies. Um, If we look at it playing back, um, just turn that down a bit. There's a lot of frequency over here. This is the voice side. I don't know what that is. That's not human frequency. That's the human frequency, that bit there. 
Um, so what we can do is we can actually clean it up just using simple EQ just by dragging it out. I'll turn it back up again to normal level so you can actually hear the process uh, taking place. And you'll start to see the frequency of the air begin to fall. That's a class A EVP, that. So it's certainly within the human frequency, um, and we're at three times slower speed. It's been slowed down by 300%. So what I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to put it back to normal um, normal speed. You'll see it suddenly gets shorter by a small margin. Um, Okay, um, now if you take that as a single word, as often happens in EVP, EVP so you're looking for uh, a couple of standout points. One of the favourite ones is, for some reason, it comes at you in a much faster tempo. My default is 150, 100 being, we, we, we call that, say, normal, uh, normal speed tempo of the audio file. I slow that down to 150 by 50, you know, by only about 50%. It normally brings it into human tempo. Uh, obviously, to do the work that we did to just isolate that piece of uh, EVP, I had to slow it down by 300% uh, and speed it back up again. So what we can do then is, um, let's try this on 150 Okay, so it's stretched a little bit more now. Um, I can drag a little bit of that sound with it. What's it being said? So that's it, 150. Um, Let me just duplicate the track. And with well now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to slow it down to 200. That's 150, that's 200. And I can do the same again. Um, I think it's going to go too slow, I think, now. Two to two fifty. That's one fifty, two hundred, two fifty, and we'll just listen to them back to back. Striking jump out points with this uh, capture is the strength of it. It's incredibly strong. A single word or whatever EVP class A. Well, I'll give it a bit because I don't know what it's being said. So, if it, if I, if, if for example, if it was you, and it's that clear, then it's obviously class A. So, it's loud. The trap difference between left and right, and this is the advantage when you're using single microphone recorders, such as the Sony at Penny's using. Um, left and right is performing 
definitely. You can't do that if the Ricardo is put in front of somebody talking. Both left and right will be identical because he's dealing with a single microphone source. The other one is the feathering. Very distinct feathering of the track itself. This uh, changed a little bit because obviously it puts some through, through noise reduction. But the earlier one that we saw, this considerable feathering running, running all the way through it. Yet the others, it's fairly how I always expect the audio to look. Um, what's it being said? Let's play this front to back. Right, I know. I need to separate these a little bit. That could be you. I'm just wondering if it's you. You can see what Penny's got to say on that one. Um, I'm not too certain where this one was taken, if there's any clues in the location. Uh, Penny's had some real good EVPs. Um, and the thing is, I've not had to amplify this. You know, there's no amplification on it at all. Um, Zero. I'm not using any amplification whatsoever, but I can do. Um, what, I, what I'll do, I'll put all the faders up to maximum. It's going to get a little bit louder, so just be ready. Because I'm aware that I'm on amplified headphones, you may, may be a little bit quieter. <laughs> So just remember that's um, it's 150. It's not normal speed tempo. Slowed it down by 50%. Slowed down by 100%. Slowed back down by 150%. That's clear as a bell, isn't it? I'll play that for you a couple of times and I'll save that and contact Penny with the results. That's very, very interesting. That's a great capture. I'd be delighted if I had captured that one. Um, single word, but the stand. I get. I can't over um, emphasize how important this type of capture is. One is the left hand channel is performing different to right, which is impossible. Shouldn't happen on a single microphone uh, recorder. Both left and right should be should be the same. The other side of it is the feathering. Difficult to count when the voice of Penny talking is quite constant. Gradual decay. You don't get it. It's feathering. It's clear, incredibly clear. I only amplified it towards the end, um, which is for me the big surprise. So it's been a while since I've had an EVP. Because um, I just know by looking in the signal that that's strong. Um, that's almost like getting a human talk in front of a, a recorder. So, what's it being said? Is it you? <laughs> I suppose we could go back to the original one uh, that ten, Penny sent. On the ruins on the wall. On the ruins on the wall. By the, is that by the ruins by the road? On the ruins on the wall. On the wall. 
it's in. It, I'm not sure what she's saying. If, if it's in the ruins, the voice comes in on the road. On the ruins, on the wall. In the ruins. Uh, you, you. I'm pretty confident that's you. Uh, right, I enjoyed that one. That was a cracker. That one. Right, I shall end that uh, the movie here. So put that up for YouTube so Penny can uh, have a look at that one herself. And um, I've got two more. I think there's three more. Um, yeah, there's that one there, and what I call EVP three. There's two in there. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a church entrance or some or similar. Right. Okay. Right, I'll um, save that one now and see you on the next movie.